Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I thought I would start a nice little simple daisy journal. Um, so what I have got, I've got the, obviously the, the daisy um, kit here. Now these are the papers. It comes in papers and it also comes in embellishments. So these are the papers and what I have got, I've printed them all off and I've printed this sort of script one on the back. So all of them have the coordinating script colour on the back, like this. Let me just turn it over like that. Okay, so they're all the same. Um, and I thought we could do just, it's a really simple, simple, simple journal. Now we've got three of the pages on each colour. Um, and I'm not sure whether I'm going to do, I'm going to do three signatures. So I haven't quite thought of whether I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold them in half, of adding three different colours to each one because we've got nine sheets in here. I do have the other ones which I printed off on this one but I didn't print the back on those because I'm going to use those as um, like pockets or tucks in there as well so I don't really need to waste the ink and print on the back. Um, so let me just see if I'm going to fold them all this way to start with and whether we will have um, different colours, I'm not sure, they can go this way or the other way. Um, I will get them all folded so I might just do three different colours in each so they sort of vary. So and then I'm going to pop a little bit of tea, tea stain paper in between each one. So that's how I'm going to do these. Um, I just wanted to show you how I'm going to start it off because obviously you don't need to see me fold these so I'll get those folded um, and then with the accessory bits, the embellishment bits, these are what we were doing in the last couple of videos. So I've made the little um, concertinas with the concertina tags with the little belly band closure on there. So I've got two of those to go in there. We also have, I've printed this off twice. So this is the one that I was showing you um, before and these have been printed out on 250 GSM paper. Now these ones I'm going to leave and just ink the back and around the side. But the ones here, and of course we've got the little um, paper clips that we did as well. I will make some more little embellishments. But the ones that I've printed on here, I've only printed on to 160. So the other ones were 250 GSM paper and these are 160. And it's a little bit flimsy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to just cut those out as they are because um, they just get stuck on. Because these are sort of like little journal cards. I want them a little bit thicker. Um, so I've been starting to cut them out here and I'm going to just back them onto um, some paper, some tea stain paper and some book paper. So I have got some tea stain paper, I've got some book paper here, I've got some all sorts of different sort of papers because I've tried to sort of sort these out into colour coordinating sort of bits here. So these are all sort of like the nice tea stainy browns in there and then this one has got more sort of like the coloured little pieces in um, like that which is nice. I'm trying to get a little bit more organised so in here let me have a look I don't think I've got any book paper in there let me have a look this is my lovely old old book here which I think I might um, photocopy some of these lovely pages for you because um, I think they are gorgeous. Now I'm going to use, there's a piece, look at it, it's all falling apart but it is just amazing. My mother-in-law gave me that and it's fabulous. So I'm just going to stick like we did before on the other ones, pop these on here and I think I will probably add a little bit like we did on this one, a little bit of tea stain paper as well on the back to write on. So it just gives it a little bit more um, stability, a little bit thicker, um, so the tags look a little bit better. So that's what I will be doing with those. And I'm going to just cut them out randomly. The little pockets here, I'm not going to bother backing, obviously, because they're pockets. So they can stay as they are. But again, the little cards here, I'm going to show you. It's quite simple. I hope I'm in view, sorry. 
just glue a little bit on the back and again if you wanted to sew them you can sew them okay i don't want this video to be too long so i'm just going to sort of come back and show you how they've done because you don't need to see me sticking all these on and cutting them out so that will go on there like that i shall show you this one put my glue out of the way let's just cut this out make sure that's stuck down it doesn't have to be stuck down perfectly because um i'm going to be sewing around the outside so i'm just going to chop this here and by adding sort of layers to the back of your ephemera bits if you don't have any thicker paper this is a good way of doing it because it just makes your work um, that little bit thicker now what do they do with that piece of tea stain paper here we go here it is I'm going to get my little ruler here and we can just rip that down just no cutting or anything like that let's just use the ruler things don't have to be a perfect perfect so if you don't have any of the tools it doesn't matter you can just use something to um keep it down so that will just stick on the back like that i will go around it with the sewing machine so i'm going to go and get all of these ready um, I'm going to do the same with the tags, but I think probably just some tea stain paper on the back of the tags. Um, so I will do that. Get all these ready. It's absolutely pouring with rain here. So it's a nice day to sit in the craft room for as long as I possibly can um, and get some little bits and pieces made. So I will be back when I have done all these bits. So I'll see you in a bit. So I am going to show you what I have done. So I've... Um, folded the um, inserts like this so I have nine and I'm going to do three signatures so I put one of each color in there into each signature and I think that looks really really nice um, so it opens up like that and I think these are really pretty I was going to put some coffee or tea stain paper in between but I think I'm going to leave it I don't want it to be a huge journal because um, I, I want to show you how I'm doing it and I don't want you to um, be overwhelmed with making a journal um, I'm just going to sort of like use this kit so it will be really really easy to do and just a little bit more um, coffee or tea stain paper so what I did, I grunged up the edges. So I took it, if you can just see here, it's all sort of like grunged up. And all I did, I took my big scissors, I went around the edges like that, grunged it all up. Um, if you've got one of the, um, you can get a little tool to do that with as well. Uh, but I just used my scissors. And then I've taken my Distress Ink, popped it on there and then I've just gone over the edge and that just sort of like roughs it up a little bit um, and makes it a little bit sort of more um, grungy on there so I think they look really nice um, oh that was my envelope that I did yesterday um, and these are the ones they're the little pockets and all as I've done on these again like I said before I've just popped tea stain paper I've book paper and then tea stain paper and then I've just sewn around the outside now I didn't go sew over this I just went around this bit because I did try here look I did try and it just makes a big mess so don't bother going through there because it was it's just too con time consuming and it just looks really messy so all as I've done I've made sure this is glued down properly um, and I've just sewn around the um, flat edges like that then I think that looks really nice and then I've just inched them and then I've popped the paper on the back so they are all done so you didn't really need to see me do those because it's just the same thing bit repetitive so they're all on there looking lovely ready to go into the journal to make little pockets and this one here and then this one here and then again these are the little pockets so let's see which one i think it's this one goes in here is it that one no it's the thinner one one of them they just fit in there in the little pockets like that so this one this big one goes in there 
So I was thinking maybe I could just have that on one of the plain papers. Maybe not, on one like that. So we shall see. So that's those little bits done. And I wanted to show you, I had a little rummage through my um, ribbon as well. So I've got this one here, which is a lovely, let me pop them over the top of this. You might see them a little bit better. This is a gorgeous green one. I have like a creamy one. I don't really see that. I have some like string, like that, some twine. I've got this ribbon, which is what I used on the um, paper clips. And I have a beautiful gingham one. Uh, which I thought this would look really nice on the outside of the journal um, or maybe down some of the sides of the pages just to bring that nice little pop of colour in there which is lovely um, so they're the sort of um, colours I'm going for now in the video tomorrow I'm going to colour some seat not seam binding because I don't want to use seam binding I want to use some ribbon because I've got so much ribbon um, uh, cheesecloth. I'm going to colour some cheesecloth and try and get it sort of um, some colours that will match the ribbons. So that will be in a video tomorrow. So that will be fun. So let's just pop these to the side for a minute. And let's just start on decorating. So the three signatures are like this. So I'm going to just take the first one, pop those to the side um, and use this first cover. So maybe I will let's have a look let's just start decorating some so i think maybe i will just go down the side of the page like that I might just sew that down there just wrinkle it up as i sew it and like i said i might just put one of these little pockets on the front i don't want to make it too complicated um like that i think that will look really nice and then when I've got some cheesecloth and stuff, I could probably use a bit of this here. But I would like a little bit of greens in there. Um, I could add a little bit of cheesecloth onto that as well. So I am just going to stick this down. Oh, where's my glue? What did I do with my glue? Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's just go for it. Let's just take these two out. Look at that. Doesn't that look lovely? loving these papers you can see all the little bits where I've wrinkled up and distressed the edges um, it's got all over the place so just a little bit of um, glue a little bit of tacky glue in my bottle on there let's sort of make sure this is straightish I'm just going to add some bits before I sew it all together and I'm doing the inside first um, decorating some of the pages before I do the um, the cover um, because I always sort of like add so much to it and my covers are always too small so there we go doesn't that look nice that looks really nice so I might just stick a little bit down there or you could just do a little bow even I want to show you that you don't need a huge amount of stuff to make a journal. You can pick any sort of digital kit that you've already got. Um, a little bit of ribbon that you might have. Um, and then just sort of like use what you've got and not have to buy too much. Because there's so much um, out there to buy that um, you could go on forever and spend a fortune but if you've got a couple of sort of digital kits and a little bit of ribbon um, you can make lots and lots now I like that I'm loving this green with it I think that looks really nice shall we stick that down I think I might have to stick it down with a little bit of fabric tack like this just stick that can add some nice cheesecloth and stuff tomorrow I'm not worried about it hanging off the bottom we just need to make sure that sticks down 
so that's lovely so I'm going to pop that to the side and put something on top to hold it down which I'm going to pop my little um, corner punch over there like that now what else I wanted to do as well is make a little let's take this one this is the other bits the other pocket not the other pocket the other page now I think I'm just going to try and decorate these ones I have got the little belly bands that come with the kit as well so I'm just going to cut a little piece off here like that ink around the edges now the end of this is all getting a bit scruffy so I could do with a new one because it all sort of like when you um, ink around paper it sort of like takes a lot of the a foamy bit off your dauber here so let's just put that across there now we also have our lovely friday freebies as well which would go in there so if i make that big enough that could even go in there couldn't it or look at that that could just slide on that page or even that way so there's lots and lots we can do with this. Now I'm going to just stick that on here. A little bit of glue down here. Now this tacky glue is good because it's paper to paper. It sticks really well. So you only need a little bit. Let's just put that on there like that. Does that look straight? Yes, I think so. And again like we did on the Friday freebie a couple of weeks ago we did a little daisy didn't we on the belly band so I think I might actually do that if I've got one ready cut out in my little box here I've got a little one here like that what should we have we've got anything a little bit bigger this one or this one maybe I'll pop a couple on like that let's have a few little bits on there oh let's have a little bit of this as well or I could have a bit of ribbon couldn't I or string and make like a little bow or I could have it like that hanging down couldn't I let's just take like that open those ends up a little bit just stick that down and then we can just stick these over the top which I think would look nice what else have we got a little bit of a creamy one let's take a little bit of this as well Gardeners are out again today it's because it's just finished raining. I did put a little bit of a video um, to show you the rain or to show you how miserable it was outside. So maybe I'll pop that on in a minute. Okay, guys, so I hope you can see this. It's absolutely pouring with rain. So this is looking out of my window in my craft room um, so it's a nice day to be sat here and crafting so I thought I'd just show you um, beautifully green um, out there but it's a bit wet and miserable so it really is nice to be inside in the warm so I thought I'd just show you I'm gonna stick that down like that just making like a little collagey sort of Thing here, stick a little bit on here. There we go. Should we put you on there? Gosh, it sounds like they're right outside my window. little bit of fabric 
a little bit of cheesecloth. This is just a, a plain sort of cheesecloth. Let's just pop that in there like that. And then we'll have you on there, I think. Like that. And do you think we'll have any room for Daisy? Do you think Daisy will fit in there? I'll cover the other daisies up, but I think it might. I'm going to do a bit more fussy cutting of these later, or should we just have the daisy? I think that one might look better than the word. I'm going to cut out a few more of these tonight, print off another page. So we've got lots of lovely, lovely daisies in our book, in our journal. Look at that. See, doesn't that look nice? So a little bit of string, a little bit of twine, a little bit of um, organza ribbon, a little bit of cheesecloth there and some little daisies. And that makes a perfect, let's just see, do you think that will go through? Yes, look at that, perfect. Lovely little belly band and I think that looks so lovely. So that's another page, let's have a look. Did this stick? That's stuck on there nicely. So that folds over, so that's going to be the front page, like that. And then we've got those, perfect. So we could put something on here, couldn't we? Which I might just put that on there. And then this is a nice place to do some journaling on, isn't it? Let's just ink round here. Like this. Oops. And then Daisy. Let's have a look. Shall we have some of this or shall we have a little bit of this one? I don't want to add too much because I want to um, add a little bit of the cheesecloth that I colour. Um, so it doesn't Let's see, I can't quite see that on the back of that. So let's see, we've got a little bit of... That like that, and then Daisy over the top. Lovely. Let's just stick that down. over the top I hope I'm in shot I do apologize there we go what's that like is that level yes it is I think like that perfect 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 and then What's that one? I think what I might do, like I said before, I know I don't want two daisies like that, do I? Let's put something on here then. What should we have on here? Because I think that would look nice just to journal on. So should we make something to go on here? Let's make a little, let's take a piece of this. I've got my big pot little thing off. Um, tea stain, coffee stain paper. I'm going to pop that to the side. I'm going to make a little, a little booklet thingy midjig. Let's see if we can make something just to go onto that page. Nice, simple something. Just, so my hands are all covered in ink. And again. Uh, a nice little scrubby. You can obviously use scraps. I should have gone through my scrap one, really, shouldn't I? 
like this. So we have a nice little, and that can go on the top like that. And maybe I will. Let's see, let's just make this first. Put that on the top. I'm going to just glue these together quickly before I sew it so they stay in place. Just a tiny, tiny little bit of glue on each one like that. Just so they stay in place like that before I sew. A little bit of ink. Chop that off. Shall we have some ribbon underneath? I'm not string. This one and the green. Shall we have a little bit of both? And then that over the top. That will look nice, won't it? So let's just pop a little bit of glue, a little bit of the green ribbon. I'm not going to cut it off the spool, I'm just going to so we don't waste any. Just cut it off like that. You can have a little bit of the, maybe I'll pop that over the top because I just want to sew the top piece there along the top. Quite like that just as it is actually. I might be covering it up too much. Let's have a look. Maybe if I sew the top, then I can just put one of these little daisies on there instead. That's what I'll do, I think. I'm going to just quickly sew that. It's a little bit wet with the glue. But I'm going to quickly sew it and then pop that on the top. I think I can... Hmm, I might sew over the top of this like that. So I've got a little bit on here and I'm going to put that on there like that. Okay, two minutes. I'm just going to sew this onto here and sew this together. Okay, so I've just going, gone over the top of that with a little zigzag stitch there, which I think looks really nice. You can see it a bit better on there, um, which I think I'm going to just leave like that. Gives it a lovely little bit of texture on there. So where's our little daisy? Let's pop our little daisy on there. Let's have a little bit of cheesecloth. A little bit of cheesecloth on top of this ribbon. Maybe I'll pop a little bit of glue underneath. Just to hold it all down. Lovely. Another way to use up some of your scrap fabric as well. Little scraps to go on there. That's nice. I like that. Perfect. So we've got a little sort of writing pad, which I'm going to try. Let's have a look. Shall we use some vellum? This is the vellum I was using yesterday just pop a little vellum pocket on there to put this little booklet in, couldn't we? That's a good idea. Let's get a bigger piece. Little vellum pocket on there. Okay, so if I just tear down here. Let's get my ruler. Let's just give it a quick little... There across there and how big do we want it we don't want it all the way do we so let's just tear that piece off and then these pieces we can use for more pockets throughout the journal 
So if I put that there, let's see. Shall I take a little bit of ribbon and just sew that across the top? That would look nice and that would match really well, wouldn't it? Okay, two seconds. So there we go. What I have done, I've just sort of gathered it all up like that and I think that looks really nice. I haven't cut it off that yet, so I'm going to do that now. So wrinkling it all up like that gives it a little bit of texture throughout the journal so you can make it quite a basic journal um, but if you add sort of like little bits of texture and wrinkles like this it just gives it a little bit more to your journal makes it more than it really is if you know what I mean um, so that looks nice doesn't it so I'm going to maybe just ink around the edges now what did I do with that there we go just so that's a little bit darker I think just that little scruffy bit. You can always add to it once we've finished the journal and we've done sort of like most of the pages. You can go back through um, and add more. Look, I've got a nice daisy through there as well. Let's just pop a little bit of glue on here. I'm going to use my Fabri Tac like this through there. Down through there, not too much because it will stick this down really well. There we go. But you can't see it, so that's nice. So. Oh, I do apologise, I really do hope I'm in view there. There we go, and then that little journal can just pop in there like that. And doesn't that look nice? Love it so so simple so there we go guys we've done three pages or four pages already um, so that's good so I'm going to leave it there because I want to color some um, cheesecloth so I'll do that in the next video so that we can incorporate it into our journal so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me please stay safe take care and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye